Good morning, uh, afternoon. It's not afternoon by now, probably in most places. Um, I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I knew today was going to be really funky, but I did not. <laughs> I didn't expect it to happen so early. Um, so Venus and Pluto, Venus is square Pluto today. There's such a struggle of power that's happening with the divine feminine. And it's not even really like versus the divine masculine. It's versus the patriarch, right? It's like something has to change. And the feminine, um, that's that hair tie that I looked for for 20 minutes this morning that I couldn't find. It was on my wrist the whole time. Um, something has to change. And the divine feminine isn't really up for playing games anymore. Like she's not laying down and just letting it all, you know, letting herself get run over. Um, so the power struggle is real. Mercury is in Pisces, um, retrograde. And if either one of, if Venus or Mercury, either one of those planets is heavy in your chart or rules you in some way, like <sighs> I'm a Libra rising and Libra is ruled by Venus, and I'm a Virgo sun, and Mercury rules Virgo. <laughs> so, so if you are ruled by Venus or Mercury or both, then you're really feeling that power struggle today. I uh, have to remain giggle, like I have to remain laughing. Like I realize that if I don't laugh things off today, if I don't make make it a joke, I could easily, easily, easily get very angered. I went to the grocery store just to get, you know, a couple of things this morning and like was literally boxed in in the highway on the way home by like these trucks surrounding me and I was pissed. <laughs> I was like, I was like cursing at them and flipping them off and I don't do that. I don't, I don't like... I don't, uh, I'm a lover, not a, not a fighter, right? Like I don't provoke. I am not a provoker in any way, shape or form. Um, and I was provoking this, like the divine feminine is, we're not putting up with the power. Like, I mean, I'm not going to say what I, I texted, um, a friend of mine. I'm not going to say what I said because it was kind of mean, but, um, it was, it was mainly, you know, I was, I was man bashing, which is another thing that I don't do. But that's, like, my point. Like, the Divine Feminine right now, they're not going to put up with, like, pretending that you are more powerful than who you are. You know? And it's it's so transparent. The power struggle is so transparent. And when somebody pretends that they have more power than they actually have, people can see right through it. Like, you can't even hide from that fact. So, um, be really honest with yourself. Um, this is also a time where relationships are going to be tested, whether you're in a new relationship, whether you're in a long-term relationship, now's the time to actually see how strong that relationship is, not the connection, because you can have a connection with someone and not actually have a good relationship with them. They, you can have a connection with this person, with a person, because they're there to trigger you to heal a part of you. Um, so the veil of within relationships is very thin right now. You can see through, um, really, you can, you, can, uh, you can see people's emotions very, very clearly. And so, but that doesn't mean that because you want to keep someone in your life, you hide how you feel. Like... First of all, you're not going to be able to hide it. Like I said, everything is very transparent right now. But um, if you feel like, oh my gosh, I can't say that because that's going to trigger that person or that's going to, you know, cause a fiasco in this relationship and I don't want to lose it. And Betsy said that it's a really powerful time. That's what I mean. Like if you're having to do, if you have to protect yourself by shutting yourself down, that's toxic. You know what I mean? So uh, also last chance to sign up for... Um, the workshop that we're doing tomorrow, um, unconditionally loving yourself and releasing judgment, because when we hold judgment within ourselves, 
And right now is a very judgmental time. Thank you very much. Um, case in point, myself this morning, I was judging people pretty harshly. Um, and we're, nobody's immune to, to judging. But when we become aware of it, uh, we can manifest in our life a lot easier and a lot faster. So if you haven't signed up for that workshop, it is tomorrow afternoon at 3 p.m. Eastern. If you can't make the live, the replay is sent out directly after um, to everybody who is registered. So it, it would be really wonderful to see you guys there, to see everybody there. And if you've been waiting to the last minute, I am cutting off registration at noon central tomorrow, which is 1 p.m. Eastern. Um, please don't email me after noon and ask if you can register for it. I will say you'll have to wait until after um, to buy the replay. Okay. Um, okay. Let's look at the cards. I'm really curious to see because... <clears throat> And everything is just so up in the air. This week, the reason why I wasn't on yesterday was because Wednesday was really, really exhausting. Um, my youngest uh, was roughhousing during recess, and he fell, and he hit his head on the concrete. And he had, like, you know, like, when it's, because it's a playground, right? And there are, like, those little sharp rocks that kind of are sticking up out of the gravel, or out of the play, or the uh, driveway, kind of, I don't, can't even, parking lot, you know, anyways. So he cut his head open and he had to have it glued on Wednesday evening. And it was really, like, it was so emotionally exhausting for me. I couldn't do anything yesterday. So, um, yeah, it's been quite an interesting week. I'm ready for Mercury Retrograde to be over with. Okay, I feel like somebody is in the middle of creating or needing to create stability or creating stability in their life. I feel like um, what's happening with these cards, and I'll show them to you in a minute, but I feel like what's happening is we're recognizing, and this was part of the energy that I put up this morning, we're recognizing like who's coming with us right? Who's on our journey with us and what we have to leave behind in order to be stable in the long run, right? So I have the four of wands, I have the three of cups, and I have the ten of pentacles. Now, I say it all the time, and I'm going to say it again, that the three of cups for me is not always a third party situation. It depends on the other cards that are around it. I know a lot of readers just automatically go to the third party situation, but to me, it's more of a celebration. I feel like somebody is is um, either manifesting a celebration or manifesting a union, manifesting like coming together and um, creating something from from being with like minded individuals. With it feels like somebody's putting a festival together. To be quite honest, like it feels like, or somebody is, is wanting to. Um, create a, a community or, you know, something like that, which is lovely, especially during this kind of energy. It's very lovely. But I am going to say that I would highly, I would say to like hold off on it, which is really funny because the four of cups came out, um, the four of cups and the five of cups. Um, I feel like some of us are thinking with the four of cups and then I have the five of cups here. Um, if this isn't about coming together or a celebration, I feel like some people are being really nostalgic right now and thinking back and um, thinking back onto a um, better time, quote unquote, a better time. That's what I'm hearing. So um, whatever that better time means for you, but the four of cups and the five of cups, some of us are like really isolating ourselves big time right now and if you're isolating yourself and reminiscing about the past things that like man I just wish things could go back to the way they were or it was so much more it was so much nicer and stable and grounded and 
Like it felt so much better when everything was this way, right? When you sit there and you reminisce about that stuff, like it's great to have memories of fun, exciting things, but then, oh man. Okay, so this is exactly what I feel like is happening. And I'm gonna explain myself here in a minute, but what I feel like is there's this switch between a really happy memory and then you start to go, oh man, but I really miss that. And you turn that happy memory into a sad memory. So for those of you who've never seen the movie Inside Out, <laughs> it's a Pixar movie. If you don't have kids, it, I think everybody needs to see Inside Out because it's hilarious. It's so, it's so good. But it's basically like all of the emotions that you have in your brain that are like controlling you. And that's what the whole movie is about. It's about all these emotions of this little girl. And there's joy and sadness are the two main characters. And every time sadness, every time sadness touches uh, a memory that joy created, it turns blue and goes sad. And that's exactly what spirit showed me when I was talking about that. It's like, you can reminisce and think about the past all you want and be really nostalgic. But if you get into it and you sit within that, you can really, five of cups, make yourself feel like, man, I just wish I could go back to then. I wish I could go back to then. I wish I could go back to then. And that's not going to help the situation. That's only going to like bring your vibration down, right? So now you have to realize that that situation happened for a reason. It was really great at the time. It served you as much as it was supposed to. And now it's time to move on. And now it's time to create better memories than that. Like you don't have to create the same memory as that, right? So let's see what the four of wands. Whoa, oops. Okay, that's a lot. Um, the Queen of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords came out on the Four of Wands. So, if you feel like you're dealing with someone who is either, I think there's a fear of being betrayed, right? Like, they're, like you want to go back into the past, but then you remember the betrayal, and maybe that's what it is. Like, you remember the really good times but then you remember the betrayal and either this is a betrayal of yourself or I don't, depending on who the queen of, uh, the queen of pentacles is in your life. The queen of pentacles is somebody who, um, it takes care of everyone. Basically. She's like the mother figure of the Zodiac. Um, she's, uh, represents Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Um, she's the one that, that creates the stable home life, but it's like, Somebody thinks that, um, with the Six of Cups and the Nine of Cups, it feels very much like some of us think that, that we really do want what was in the past, what's already happened. Like, I feel like the, I, I feel like I'm having a conversation with someone right now that's trying to convince me. But no, the past was really great, and that's exactly what I wanted, and everything about it was so fantastic, and I just, like, I feel like I totally was betrayed, or I feel like this person, I feel like, I feel like I'm having an argument with somebody, because I'm having to look at them and say, but if that's where you were still supposed to be, you'd still be in it, and because it is part of your past, and it's not part of your present, then it's not real right? Like stop trying to make something stable from the past be stable right now. I hope that came out and made sense because I, I feel like I, I want to argue with someone about, but it, you know, even though you were really betrayed, like the reality of it is that you were really, really betrayed or you weren't taken care of or something like that, right? There was something, there's a reason why it didn't work out back then. And somebody's trying to convince themselves to go back into that time. And that's where the Five of Cups is coming from because you're trying to convince yourself that that was a good time, even though it wasn't. And so we have the Three of Cups and we have the Ten of Pentacles. Now, if the Three of Cups is a third-party situation and there are too many people involved in this, 
Um, that I, I, you know, polygamy works for a lot of people. I don't judge, right? Polygamy works for a lot of people. But if there's a third party situation going on and one person doesn't know about the other person, like if there's a lie that's happening within that, that's not the same thing as being polyamorous or being, you know, in a polygamous relation. Like there's, it's not the same thing. And for people to try and convince themselves, you know, don't confuse the situation with love right? Don't confuse the situation with love. If there's any kind of betrayal in the situation, don't confuse it with love. But we just love each other so much. Then you have to not only love each other so much, but love all the other people that are also involved. You know, that seven of cups on the three of cups Um, if this isn't a third party situation, I feel like some people are um, really wanting to find their soul tribe. I feel like some people feel sort of alone in this journey that they're on. And it's like, it's like they want to go back into a time Part of me actually wants to say that I feel like some of us are saying, you know, I just wish I was ignorant again. Like, I wish I didn't know the truth. I wish I wasn't aware. I wish I wasn't conscious, which I have said on occasion. Like, sometimes it's a it's kind of a burden to know the truth about situations. Like, sometimes we just want to be ignorant and go back to our old lives and go back to old situations and, old, you know, because it was a simpler time and we didn't have to. Think about the triggers and think about the emotions. But if you really, really, really get honest with yourself, it wasn't a simpler time. It was actually much harder, right? And the people that you're supposed to be around and the people that are for you and not just for growth and opportunity with you, but they're actually for you, they will reveal themselves. And if you're confused by that right now, right? Seven of Cups on the Three of Cups. If you're confused by that right now, it will be revealed to you. You, The more you heal yourself, the more you're going to attract like-minded individuals, right? Seven of Wands on the Ten of Pentacles. The more you heal yourself, the more you will attract healed individuals. So we have the Seven of Wands on the Ten of Pentacles, and this is sort of what I'm saying. It's like, I know you think you were happy back then, or I know you think that you can be happy, you you think that you'll be happy in this kind of situation because the grass is always greener on the other side, right? Except sometimes it's not. Sometimes the grass isn't always greener on the other side. Um, this feels like some, I feel like somebody has a blockage to stability, okay? I feel like somebody has a blockage to stability and because they're, that blockage is there, it's almost as if they don't think they, they deserve to have stability. So there are these great big walls up and they keep creating chaos behind the walls, behind the scenes, when in reality that chaos that's happening, it's like, that actually, that message sounds really, really familiar to me because I said something very similar the other day where um, because my life is always like this constant flow and constant change, I wouldn't know what to do with myself if, if everything just stopped and calmed down for a minute and I was just like not evolving and changing for a minute. Like it would be very strange to me and it, I realized that that's an addiction to chaos. I am so used to things constantly being in like a state of change and a state of flow in my life that you can easily get addicted to that, right? And go through withdrawals. So, but at the same time, you're sitting within that chaos saying, I don't want to do this anymore. This is not something I want to do anymore, right? So you have to be the person like, instead of having a blockage to stability, just have boundaries. Have And you have to have the same boundaries with yourself 
that you have with other people too. If you're gonna have if you're gonna have boundaries with other people and then you don't keep those same boundaries for yourself and you let yourself run all over yourself, like seriously, that happens, right? Think about think about it. You let yourself get away with things that you shouldn't. All right, let's see what this Four of Cups says. Because somebody is ignoring. Oh, wow. All right. Three of Wands wants to reveal itself as well. So the Three of Wands and the Star on the Four of Cups. This is a very interesting reading, you guys, because um, the message in it is that your dream, like somebody's dream or somebody's future somebody's, um, the thing that they've wanted, the thing that they've been working towards, the thing that they've been fighting for is literally right in front of them, but they're still waiting for it to show up because it feels very much like they think that it was supposed to look a certain way or in some way, shape or form, it, it was supposed to be revealed in a different kind of way. And so they're ignoring it completely. There's something right in front of someone that, and it's like such an, it's so apparent. And maybe because it is so obvious, maybe because it is so apparent and so obvious and so right in front of them that that's what they're ignoring because they're expecting for it to be harder to get. That's an addictive quality too, you guys, is to... Um, have such an expectation of the way something will look that you completely ignore everything else around you. Um, let's see what the Five of Cups is. While you are thinking and being nostalgic about the past and regretting how you didn't make the moves in the past, um, something is showing up right in front of your view and, um, so this is what happens when, this is what happens when the pressure starts to, uh, clamp down on someone. Um, when it starts, when things start to get really chaotic and everything starts, starts moving really, really fast, we tend to make impulsive, ra you know, irrational decisions and we don't think, we don't think about it before we make the decision. And I feel like somebody's getting to that point. I feel like somebody's like, I can't do this anymore. This is not the way things can be. Something has to change. I need you to calm down before you decide to make any decisions. Like, whoever that message is for because I feel like there is this rush there's this rush to change your life it's still mercury retrograde you guys don't make any hard and fast decisions today or tomorrow or for the next couple of weeks until at least Aries like give it to the first day of Aries season at the very least We'll still, we'll still be in the post-shadow period for another couple of days when we get into Aries season, but it's not going to be as, you know, strong. Um, and if you feel like you're in a situation right now that you're like, this is never going to change and it's too painful and I can't do this anymore and I have to make a decision right now, take just a few moments. You don't have to take days, but take a few moments before you make a decision. Okay, because you can do things that very, very irrationally, the power struggles are so real, and you can be super, super irrational. The bottom of the deck is the Eight of Cups. I had a feeling I needed to look. I feel like somebody wants to leave a situation, like they're done. They're totally, totally done, and um, they've got, and see, the thing is, is there was sign after sign after sign after sign after sign, probably for a very long time that they needed to change something that you needed to change something in your life in some way. And you kept on saying, no, I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to wait. I'm going to wait for the, there has to be a right time. There has to be a right time. There has to be a right time. And now you're pulling yourself back into moments of, man, I should have done it then. Man, I should have done, man.
man, that was a good time for me to do it. And now you've completely gotten yourself into a situation where it's like now or never. And it's Mercury retrograde. And now you're like, what the fuck do I do? Um, if you have to, if first of all, because I know I'm thinking back to a couple of days ago when that King of Swords came out in reverse. If you have to leave a situation because it is violent or um, harmful in any way, please do. Don't wait until Mercury retrograde is over. Leave now. If you have the urge to leave now in a, in a violent situation, leave. If it's not violent um, and you're just really super uncomfortable, start making the plan. Okay? And this means work, relationships, whatever. Right? Um, but it's time to go. It's time to leave. This Eight of Cups is saying you can't stay in the situation anymore. Um, this is the final sign you're going to be getting. So make the plan. And... Um, when Mercury goes direct on March 9th, it will, that will be the best time to start putting the plan in place. Okay. I love you guys. Have a really wonderful day. Please come, uh, join us for the workshop tomorrow and, um, be good to yourselves. Be kind to yourselves. Be kind to everybody right now. Cause it's, it's tough. Things are tough. I'll see you later.